Hi everybody, welcome. I'm Ryan Lear, Global Yoga Ambassador for Lululemon. I'm here to guide you through a short post-run yoga session, allowing you to cool down, relax, and recharge. I want you to get comfortable and make sure you've got a couple props here. You could use a yoga belt or a regular belt or a dish towel or a towel or some pants, anything to hook your foot later. Um, maybe a yoga block or a thick book and maybe a pillow or for the yogis maybe you got your yoga bolster so take a moment get your stuff ready if you want put on some music and let's get ready to flow yoga time all right come stand up tall on your mat get connected get collected nudge your tailbone forward upper arm bones back the rib cage right over the pelvis. Kind of lean forward, lean back until you feel some sort of effortlessness. Once you find your grounding, start to get present to your breath. So the breath is the anchor to the present moment. What separates yoga from just stretching is a conscious, slow breathing. Slow and steady wins the yoga race. Tailbone forward. Upper arm bones back, connect to your breath, sounds like this. Make your breath slightly audible, a hissing sound, rubbing sensation in the throat, it's called ujjayi, victorious breath, deep breathing. Now, as I guide you through movements today, you're welcome to let the breath lead the way. Inhale, raise your arms up over your head, straighten your arms, lift your waist, lift your ribs. Exhale, slowly drop your arms. Try to keep your head steady, neutral, maybe head down. Two more times, inhale, lift, reach, stretch. Up. Option to lift your heels as well. Exhale slowly, lower your arms. The upward hands, Urva Hastasana. Go one more time, smooth. Reach for the sky, stretch. Exhale slowly, slowly lower your arms. Deep breathing, smooth breathing. Now arms up to the sides on the inhale, arms up to the sides and up over your head. Just a little stretch, side bend as you exhale, tip to your right side, nice and smooth. Push your hips left. Take a deep breath in, come back up to neutral, straighten your arms, stretch, lift your waist, lift your ribs, exhale, other side, nice and smooth. Next inhale, slowly rise up, stretch a little higher. Exhale, slowly lower your arms. Right. You know, you just ran. Good job. You're awesome. Way to go. And good job getting on your yoga mat or towel or if you're outside, wherever you are. Great job. Here we go. Get a little flow with the sun salutation. So come to the narrow side of your mat. Lift and spread the toes. Sink into your heels. Breath guides away. Inhale, arms up over your head. Option to join your palms. Exhale, bow, dive forward. You can bend your knees as much as you need to. Inhale, head up. Exhale, walk or jump back to the low push-up position. Option to lower your knees onto the earth, broad collarbone. Inhale, upward facing dog. Lift your chin, yogi chin up. Exhale, downward facing dog. And just walk the dog one heel down at a time. Nice and easy stretch for the hamstrings, for the calf muscles. Deep ujjayi. Next in breath, lift your heels, lift your hands. Exhale, walk or jump your feet to your hands. Deep breath in, long legs. Deep breath out, bow forward. For your feet, inhale, rise up high, reach up. Look up, stretch. Exhale, release your hands. You need a few more sun salutations to warm up. You can pause it, do a few more. 
Otherwise, we're moving into the runner's lunge and a little hamstring stretch. Exhale deeply. Inhale, reach, rise. Exhale, just flow down like water. As Bruce Lee say, be like water, relax. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, go back, low push up. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, go back. Downward facing dog, stretching the heels to the earth gently, gently, soft, deep, ujjayi. Now on the inhale, lift your right leg up behind you, up over your head, go stretch. Exhale, lunge deeply. Option to lower your back knee onto the earth. Runner's lunge, navel to spine, hips level. Go ahead, the front heel grounds down, the hips nice and low, deep breathing, back of the neck long. Smile into your brain. Now next exhalation, drop your back knee if it isn't down. Straighten your front leg and get into the right hamstring now. Inhale, lengthen your spine. Exhale, stretch gently. Try to find the sweet spot like Goldilocks, not too hot, not too cold. Find the sweet stretch and keep pulling your right toes towards you. Pull the toes towards your nose. Also a wrapper, yoga wrapper, just joking. Deep Ujjayi. Navel to spine every exhale. See if you can get even more cleansing on the exhale than you thought you could. Okay, next inhale, look up. Tuck your back toes, step back to downward facing dog. Those who want to flow for a little more heat, you go a little push up to upward facing. Nice and smooth, downward facing dog. With that foot to the heavens, rise up, stretch. Behind you, stretch. And exhale, lunge deeply. Same as the other side. Option to drop the back knee. Keep your left hip moving towards your right inner thigh. Squeeze your navel into your body, long spine. How smooth can you get your breath? Deep, smooth, ujjayi. Stretch your um, back heel away from you. Left you. Lift your right inner thighs to the skies. Next out breath, gently drop your back knee. Straighten your left leg, pull the toes towards you. Strong long leg, inhale, lengthen the spine. Exhale, mouth forward. Deep ujjayi, keep the breath deep so you can stay anchored to the present moment go beyond thinking just feel your hamstrings squeeze your hips together you want to get your breath long smooth and deep keep your mind on your breath all right after your next exhalation tuck your back toes inhale lift up exhale to downward facing dog Option to do a flow, and anytime you need rest, take the knees down, sit onto the heels for child's pose. So downward dog, maybe child's pose, depending what you need. You could even do um, handstand or elbow stand anytime you need. Now tuck your toes if you're in child's pose. From down dog, look to your hands. And walk or jump your feet to your hands. Deep breath in, long spine. Exhale, bow forward. Press your feet. Inhale, reach up, rise up, look up. Exhale, hands to your heart. Now go ahead and turn and get to the wide um, leg forward bend. Press free to Padatanasana, the feet wide, maybe underneath the wrists. Once you get the Outer feet lined up with the outer edge of your mat. Maybe pigeon toe the feet in a touch. Okay. Hands to your hips. Elbows back. Broad chest. Deep ujjayi. Next inhalation. Lift your chin. Lean back. 
Option to soften your knees, get into the hammies, exhale, bow forward, come halfway down. You could use a, a block, put your hands, I, I like to use a block, or, or your book. Deep breath in, keep your spine long, you could stay extended or bow forward. Then if you want to be steady and still, you stay still. If you want to sway side to side, sway side to side. And rest in your forward bend, relax. Make sure you're not just over gripping the toes. If you're able to, you activate the quadriceps to get into the hamstrings. Every exhalation, relax deeply. Next in breath, come halfway up. Exhale, hands to your hips, elbows back. Inhale, come up to standing, tailbone forward. Now take your feet in a little closer, about the width of your hips, maybe a little wider, to the yogi squat. So you can sit back, option two, stay on the heels. You could lift your heels. Nice hip opener. Those who want a little heat or fire, you try the, the crow, the crane. Be very careful. I hope you sign the waiver. So you place your hands under your shoulders. You can stay in the squat or try flying. Knees on upper arm bones, elbow creases face forward. Fly, yogi. Three, two, you're flying. Come back down. One, everybody inhale, rise up. Reach up, feet together. Exhale, release. Okay, now, hip opener or hamstring stretch, yogi's choice. Hands to your hips. Those who want the hip opener, lift your right leg. Put your foot into your inner thigh. Inner thigh to foot, tailbone forward. The tree pose. Those who want the hamstring stretch, knee high, catch your foot, stretch your Leg. Be careful, runners. I know this is a tight one. Okay, whichever pose you chose, just stay ujjayi. Couple more cycles. And go ahead and release. Now, just one thing about the breath it's the ultimate detox so powerful detox. If you're taking regular short breaths, you get about 500 cc's of air. If you do the deep yoga inhalations, exhalation, they say the yogis can get like 3,000 cc's, six times as much of cleansing um, with the deep ujjayi breathing. I don't know if it's true or not. I read it in Iyengar's light on pranayama. Other side, do the tree pose, you could do the hamstring stretch, Dita Hasa, Padmustasana it's called. There's no Sanskrit test at the end today. Yoga for runners. Dibujayi. Couple more cycles of breath. Express your posture and release. Nice and easy. Okay, now slowly, slowly come down, lay down onto your back. You have one of the blocks or brick or books to rest on. You get, that. get your strap ready. So, just a little back bend. Place your feet hip distance. This is set to Bandha, the supported bridge. Set your feet hip distance. Elbows close to the rib cage. Squeeze your shoulder blades together. Exhale fully. Elbows down. Inhale. Lift your hips. So you could stay here. You could hold your hips or you could use a block. Now let the throat pit get deep, deep ujjayi.
Then just feel one more of the smoothest, deepest breaths you could take. And if any of you like to do upward bow, as long as you're really careful, only if you've done it, go ahead and take upward bow. Remove the block or the brick. And slowly, one vertebra at a time, lay down your spine. Okay, let's get to the hamstrings. So, keep your hips level as you take this. Move your tailbone towards your heels, belly button to spine. Lift your right leg. You can hold on to your hamstring. And keep the knee bent if you need to. Eventually, go up through the heel and the big toe mount and try to straighten your leg, no pressure. Stay here for a couple breaths. And then, if you have your tea towel or strap or extension cord, you can wrap your foot. And as you stretch your leg gently, you squeeze your right hip into your left inner thigh. And some of you may be able to stretch your left leg long. No pressure to do that. Deep Ujjayi, a couple more on this side. Eventually, you activate the quadriceps to release the hamstrings. The strings are the tendons, ligaments, and ham. They say that the bend in the back of the knee, I was trying to find the root of the word hamstring. Such a, we want to open the hamstring so we don't get hamstrung. Okay, fully express. A little stretch, maybe even pulling the foot gently towards you. Be careful. Now stretch your right leg, which is long, 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 maybe longer than your left right now. Stretch both legs out. See which, which leg's longer. Did that make a difference? I don't know. Okay, bend your, well, let's see. Oh yeah, I think my right leg got a little longer. Okay, bend your knees. Keep your hips level. Tailbone to heels, navel to Mother Earth. Reach behind your hamstring. Pull your leg in towards you. If your head is tilting back, you could also use a pillow. For the luxurious, the Cadillac of the hamstring stretches. You want the strap, use the strap. Try to keep your low back on the earth. Navel to spine, Ujjayi breathing. Then you can use your left, articulate your left foot to get into your hamstring. Go up through the heel first, then the big toe mount. Navel to spine, deep breathing. Try to get the Ujjayi super smooth. Stretch your right leg out long. All right, excellent. Okay, now the figure four, baby hip opener. Bend your knees, right ankle across left thigh, ankle across thigh, then hug your leg in. If you really want the reclining pigeon, if any of you know the pigeon pose, now would be a nice time. And you reach your right hand between your legs, left hand outside. I like to use a pillow in this pose so my forehead goes towards the heart. You don't want to be lifting your chin above your forehead. You want your forehead above your chin. Ah, uh, nice. Deep breathing. You know, it's nice to listen to music sometimes in yoga too, so you can always pause this and put on music if you haven't yet. And 
it's an exhale where you can give your leg a little bit more of a hug. Yeah, that sweet, sweet sensation on the outer right hip if you get the pose just right. As you're here, how relaxed can you make your face, your jaw, your tongue, the eyeballs sink into the skull? Don't fall asleep, fall in the wake. Awakening to the present, one more exhale. You're so blessed to be able to move, yeah? To run, wow. Okay, release that side. Go ahead, take the other side, cross your left ankle just across your thigh. Take your knee, left knee away from you. Squeeze your hips together, navel to spine. Left hand between the legs, right hand outside. Squeeze those in pigeon. Just keep softening with every exhale. And pay loving attention to your breath, to your hips, how soft can you let your jaw be, your eyeballs sinking into your skull, your forehead relaxing, space between your eyebrows softening, or if you only have one eyebrow, softening. Trying to get you all to smile. Smiling helps with the yoga. You know, my teacher is almost every class, he says, smile into your brain. Inhale, you smile into your brain. Exhale, you soften. A couple more breaths on this side. pose. Those who like shoulder stand, you can do shoulder stand, but in a restorative class it's really nice to put your legs up on the wall or legs up on the couch. It's the inverted leg pose, Viparita Karani. So you simply scoot your hips to the wall and put your hips up onto a pillow if you like. But what we do Stretch your legs up, open the chest and the pelvis is just above the heart, back of the neck long. You could put a pillow under your head, oh, or a block. And you relax, relax, broad collarbones. Take your time to settle into stillness. Back of the neck, long, soft, super soft, throat, belly, eyes. And go beyond thinking, stay with the sensations you're feeling, stay with the breath. Listen to the body, to the breath, as the yogini says, the hips don't lie, Shakira. Yeah, just relax and listen. Listening. Yoga is the art of listening.
stay with the ujjayi, but eventually it becomes silent if you start to think, make it a little bit louder than the thoughts. your legs. It's like you're sitting up on the wall. If you're in shoulder stand, slowly come down. And be careful as you roll out to one side. And Yogi's choice to go right into Shavasana, the final relaxation, where you put a pillow under the calf muscles or the hammies and lay back. You could also put your calf muscles onto a chair or the couch. Yeah, so you could go to Shavasana. Those who want one more posture, Hashimotanasana, the east to west, the leg stretch. Bring your pillow right to your belly. Take a deep breath in. I'd like to rest my head on the block and deep breath out. Bowing forward, you could stop in your knees. So if it's medicine for you, take the forward bend. If you're ready to go right to the final rest, you go right into your final relaxation. Whichever posture you decided on, bring your attention to your breath. Long, smooth, deep exhalations. Those in the forward bend, one more breath. After your exhalation, come on up and take yourself back to the supported Shavasana, final rest. Once you get onto your back, option to put a pillow behind your head or under your legs. Take a long exhale through the mouth. And deep breath in. And the exhale, just let everything go. Relax deeply. And the final stage of the final rest is you. Let go of the conscious breathing and let the body be breathed and relax completely the body and the mind. And hopefully you're tapping into the remembered wellness. Time you start to think, simply return to your breath, relaxing with each successive breath. Uh, 
and make the breath a little bit deeper. Allow fingers and toes, hands and feet to move. If you need more time, I hope you can pause it. Ask someone to pause it for you. Bend your knees one by one. Stretch your arms over your head, yawning, stretching. And roll to your right side. Curl up in a ball with the attitude of gratitude. Use your left hand to press yourself up to seated. Sit on a block, pillow, broad collarbones. Just take a few moments here to give thanks in your own way. So thank you all for taking the time to practice. I hope you feel the power of yoga, sending you positive vibrations from up here in Canada. And I'll leave you with the words from Neil Young, long may you run, namaste.